that you ever needed to collect data could be feedback from your colleague or customer. Have you ever spent hours or even days collecting and go through the information without any significant results? What if you could create this professional, good looking survey with few simple clicks? And the best part is your data is automatically collected and stored in a structural way for easy analysis later on. You don't need any fancy software, any designer skills. Simply use Microsoft Forms, which is available for you for free in your Microsoft Office account. Hi, my name is Lynn and I'm a data analyst and automation expert with experience in banking and logistic industry. And welcome to my channel. In my channel, I share plenty of productivity tips that help you to get stuff done faster in the office so you can clock out early and spend quality time with your friends and family. We will be creating today a customer survey for Excel Bobati. They recently launched their new first shop and they want to know how customers feel about their shop. And we will be helping them with this challenge. I will show you how you can easily create manage and collect data using Microsoft Forms. First, we will cover how to navigate to Microsoft Forms. Then we will create the surveys using the right questions type. I will go through the definitions, then a live demo for each questions type. I will also provide tips and tricks along the way. And finally, I'll show you how you can share and collect feedback, especially how to get the collected data into Excel for further analysis. Ready to level up your data collection game? Let's dive into it. To create your form, first, you need to log into your Microsoft Office account, starting from the home page. On the top left corner, click on the app launcher icons. From the list that appears, were interested in forms. In case you don't find it immediately, you can click on all apps or simply use the search bar and type in forms. Click on forms application icon and then this will direct you to the Microsoft Forms online app. We will create our survey from scratch by clicking on new form. Now we're landed in Forms user interface where you can drop your survey questions. I'm gonna give our forms a title and notice that AI has already recommended some questions based on my forms title. As I'm going to create a survey from scratch, so I'm going to X them out. And as you can see, there are lots of questions type that you can use to build your survey. Let's explore these type of questions in details. Let's get started with the first questions type, text, which allows respondent to enter free from text response. It is ideal for open-ended questions or when you want respondent to provide a detailed explanation or comment. Now let's add our first questions. Click on the Add New to access the Questions Type panel. We want to collect customers' names and email address. Hence, text questions is perfect to collect such information. When the questions box appears, type in your questions in the questions field, name. Let's add another one for email. And this time I'm going to make this questions mandatory simply by turn on the require buttons here. This can be incredibly handy when you need to ensure essential information, get a response. Our second questions type is date which allow respondent to select a date from a calendar. 
It is suitable for gathering information related to events, schedules, or specific dates. For the next questions, we like to know the date of birth of the client. So let's add new questions using date option. Notice that a small calendar on the corner, that's the date picker. So you can either select it from the drop-down calendar or input it manually. The third question type is choice or multiple choice. This question type allows respondents to choose from a list of predefined options. They can select only one answer or sometimes multiple answers. It is perfect for opinion polls and market research. Let's ask choice questions to collect customer gender information. And as gender is a very common question, so AI has already generated some suggestions. And they all look good. So instead of typing all the options manually, I'm going to take advantage and add them in just one click. You can include other options. In case people can't find a suitable answer in the list, they can type in a free text response. Let's add another question. This time, allow multiple selections. We want to know how customers discover us. Now, I'm listing all the different channels that help customers find us. We're going to let people pick more than one answer by allowing multiple choice. You can also set the limit to the number of response people can choose. I'll allow max two answers. You can clearly see the difference here is with single choice questions, the selection box is circle, while with multiple choice, the selection box is square. Now that we've finished customer basic information, we'll go to the next section, customer feedback. Click on add the arrow down, then choose section. The form is split into two parts with the default name, section one and two. I'm just going to rename it as customer info and customer feedback. Using sections help user to understand that they've moved on to the next part of the surveys with a different set of questions. Our fourth questions type is rating, which allow respondent to rate a statement or an item on a scale. It is useful for gathering quantifiable feedback for topics such as customer satisfaction or product reviews. Let's add rating questions and ask customer what is their experience as our shop. Once the question is added, you see the five star symbol appear. You can adjust the level up to 10 which will increase the number of symbol. You can also change the symbol to number and so on. I'm just going to stick with the five star. Net Promoter Score, or short NPS, is a widely used matrix to measure customer loyalty and satisfaction. It helps assess how likely customers are to recommend a product, a service, or company to others. Customer can give a score from 0 to 10, depending on their level of satisfaction. Now let's head back to our form and add a net promoter score questions. As you can see, AI has automatically generated typical MPS questions. So let's take advantage of this and simply do a little adjustment. Down here, you can see the score ranging from 0, not at all likely, to 10, extremely likely, which you can customize if needed. It looks good, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Next, we'll aim to gather customer feedback about specific aspects of the store, product quality, product diversity, staff engagement, 
and shop environments. One way to do it is to create poll rating questions as we did earlier. So you can add a new rating questions. To speed up the process, you could use the copy questions button here and modify the questions to their store aspects and repeat the process four times. This is definitely not the most efficient method to follow. So stay tuned as I'll introduce you to a much more clever way to achieve the same results. Let me introduce you to our six questions type, Likert, which represent the respondent with a series of statements and ask them to rate their agreement on a scale. Similar to rating, it is used for measuring opinions or perceptions on a range of topics. Let's add a Likert questions. Simply create a top line questions. On a scale from 1 to 5, how do you rate our and leave the questions open? I'm also going to add a subtitle to explain the scale. 1 is very bad and 5 is very good. Now I'm going to fill in each of the row here, the area of interest. Now adjust the column header. I'm going to change it from 1 to 5 to represent the customer rating. As you can see, the Likert matrix of rating is a much cleaner and quicker approach than creating five separate questions for the same purpose. All right, now we've complete creating our questions survey. So let's do some cleanup. I'm going to remove what we don't need here by clicking on the delete button. Adjust the order of the questions by select and drag it to the desired position. And now let's do some final cosmetic adjustment using style. As you can see, there are a gallery of styles that you can choose from. Let's scroll through it. I like this style, so I'm going to select it. Now we've completed our customer surveys form, ready to be sent to the customer. To send out the survey, Click on Collect Response at the top right corner of the screen. A pop-up will appear. Here you can decide who and how you want to share the form. Let's start with the who. You have three options here. The first one being anyone inside or outside of your organization can respond. The next two options is only for people within your organization. You have the option to record the name and restrict the response to one person if you choose to send to people in your organization. I'm going to go with anyone can respond as we're sending out to customer. On the right side is how you can share your forms. Send form out with the link. Simply just copy the link. You can share via email or team. Simply enter the email address of the recipient or the group chat and click send. You can also share via QR code. Simply download the QR codes and share it. And finally, you can even embed it, the form directly to your SharePoint or your website. I will go with the classic option link and share it with my list of customer. Once you've sent out your survey, this is how it looked from the respondent's perspective. Let's try to fill in the survey as a customer. I'm filling all the questions from section one. Now moving on to section two. And finally, finish the survey by clicking on submit. Now that we have some feedback, let's explore how Form stores our response. Click on Response to see how many responses we have received.
and the high-level overview of the latest responses. You can also export the collected data to Excel. Click Open Excel and choose the location where you want to store your data. It is best to store your file in SharePoint or OneDrive to keep the live connection to the forms. Let's open the Excel sheet. Here is the Excel sheet with all the answers neatly arranged. As you can see, the responses to each question are stored in separate columns. From here, you can easily analyze customer feedback and derive meaningful insight that help the business. As you can see, with Microsoft Form, it's very easy to create and share a professional, good-looking survey with few simple clicks. One of the biggest perks is how easy it is to automate data collection process, no more manual entries or chasing down responses. But the magic doesn't stop there. The data it's collected is stored nicely in a structural table, which makes it easier to analyze later on. And that's exactly what we'll be doing in the next videos. I will guide you step by step on how you can transform the collected data into insightful information. Thank you for joining me on this data adventures. I hope you liked the videos. If you'd like to see more contents like this, I'll leave the link here so that you can check them out. If you find this video helpful, please share it with others and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to never miss out on my latest content. Your support will help me to reach out to more people and empower them with the skill to be more productive and excel in their work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.